she likes, hoping to make a food connection. Let's hear what she had to say. My favorite type of food is Italian. I like the, the whole process of, of, of cooking Italian. I like the noodles and the cheese and the sauce. But I also have a preference for breakfast food, so by day part. And I certainly like breakfast with a, a soul food spin. Being that Alicia is from the South, we asked her if there are any differences between dating Northern men and Southern men. <laughs> um, there may be a difference, maybe slight difference. I think Southern men are more homely um, and they definitely, you know, take part in the domestic life and probably enjoy it a little bit more but I think in New York it's a it's like a brunch society everybody goes out for for a Sunday brunch or Saturday brunch and or you know dinners at different restaurants and trying different types of cuisine like it's just it's a part of the experience of dating here just being out and and at the restaurant gentlemen we asked her a few questions about her father Look at her eyes as she speaks so highly of him. This is how you want your girlfriend, your daughter, or your wife to look at you when they speak about you. Can a man ever compete with the way that your father could be? Probably not. No? Yeah. It so, would be a fair benchmark. So if somebody <laughs> was close to it, would that be like a reason for you to marry him? Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. So without seeing her... What are your initial thoughts? Give me three words that tell me what you think of her without seeing her face. Three words would be hospitable, um, intelligent, and attractive. Tell me a little bit about your process when you decide that you want to cook for a woman. How important is that for you? Um, my process is basically to uh, show her that it's, I'm all about effort. You know, I think it's not even about the food. It's about the energy you put into uh, cooking for a woman, if it's good, it's a, definitely a plus, but just the effort, you know, women don't really hear offers coming from a man, like, you know, I would cook for you, so once you cook for a woman and it's, and it's good, then that's the effort, you get, you get a lot of kudos for that, so that I, I get that enjoyment out of it. You heard her talk about her family and how she loves her father, or you, you can hear the, the admiration in her voice about her father. How important is it for a woman to have a relationship with her father when you're dating her? It's definitely a plus when a woman has a good relationship with her father because I find that when a woman has a, a great relationship with her father, she tends to have a good relationship with a man she's dating. That is not to say that a woman without a relationship with her father uh, is not able to have a positive uh, interaction with the man she's dating. However, I do see it as a definite plus when she reveres her father in a positive way. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the first episode of Food Fight. Here are our contestants for today. Let's meet them. Contestant number one, Zach. How are you doing? How are you today, sir? Fine, so. Zach, so tell me a little bit about yourself. Uh, who influenced you to cook when you were growing up? Um, one of my influences growing up was definitely my father. Um, him being from down south Mississippi, 
get a lot of southern influence from his mother and father. Mm-hmm. Uh, watching that growing up definitely gave me some passion for food. Nice, nice, excellent. So this is, your, your cooking is basically southern based. Yes. Okay. All uh, love. Nice. With a lot of love. Right. So a lot of love. Uh, a lot of love. So what's the dating scene been like for you? Um, it's been it's been interesting. I okay. would say that. Okay. Absolutely. Have you ever cooked for a woman before? I have, I have. I have some experience with that, so today will be interesting. Okay, all right, let's get into what you're going to be making today. Let's talk about your ingredients. What are you going to be making? Well, today I'm going to be making what is um, called pan perdu, okay. which is an uh, Italian-styled French toast with a strawberry compote. Um, so I have the French baguette or Italian loaf, uh, some strawberries, some confection sugar for my topping, and a thick cut a uh, slab of bacon to make candied bacon to round it all out. Nice. And to finish off the breakfast breakfast theme, I have OJ. All right. If you're going to have breakfast, you have to have you the orange juice. You have to have the orange juice, you know? All right. Now, you had $25 to spend on, on this. It looks like you're really, really close to that. Mm-hmm. How much did you actually spend? Uh, it was definitely tough, but I ended up spending $24.81. Okay, good. Excellent. Under budget. Yes. All right. Can I get that 19 cents? You got that, right? All right. Now. All right. Thank you, no sir. No problem, man. All right, now let's meet contestant number two, Josh. How are you doing? I'm great, sir. How are you? I'm doing all right. Josh, where are you originally from? I'm originally from Cleveland, Ohio. Okay. Yeah. All right. A lot of good cooking up there. A lot of good cooking out there. All right. And who were some of your influences? Uh, my you? father and my maternal grandmother are the biggest influence in my uh, cooking. Okay. Your maternal grandmother. Where was she from? She's from Alabama. Oh my goodness. Yeah. So, all right. So she can really grow down. She can really grow down. She's always had a garden. Uh, her and my grandpa always kept the garden, so oh, nice. we would go pick fruit from the garden and go cook it. So it was the freshest meals you would ever have. So originally the uh, farm to table yes. thing is going That's on. exactly what I grew up with. Excellent, excellent. So what are you going to be cooking today? Well, today I'm preparing uh, chicken broccoli alfredo with my special chicken rub that I've prepared. Question, um, you've already marinated your chicken? Oh, yes. Okay, we can't do anything pre, pre there can't be any pre-production. All right, so what we're gonna have to do is, we're gonna have to, I wanted to wipe that off really. But, but, but you see. No, don't worry about it. You'll be, you'll be able to, it's chicken. Right, but, but you so, see. You'll be okay. What you're doing here, mm-hmm. is you're taking away the magic of the whole situation. Well, but, but this is a. This I'm is, trying to win, brother. Yeah, I understand. You this understand the flavor up. that is in there. <laughs> oh, it's live. But, this is live reality. Brother, it'll be all right. You will have an opportunity to make this chicken for the young lady. You know what? My chicken's still going to be good, though. Yeah, it is. All right. It is. It is. I believe you. I, I believe you. I believe me, too. Uh, now, $25. It looks like uh, looks like you were pretty pretty decent with that. How much did you spend on your? I spent about $17.51. Okay, excellent. Yeah. Excellent. Good deal. Yes, good sir. deal. Thank you, sir. All right, thank you. And finally, contestant number three. How are you, Hanif? Good. Tell me a little bit about yourself. Uh, where are you originally from? I'm from Brooklyn, New York. Ah, uh, from Brooklyn. Yeah. Okay. So you, you've uh, experienced a lot of food here. Definitely a lot of food. Okay. Um, my mother's uh, Trinidadian, so I grew up in a uh, West Indian household, and I was also surrounded by a lot of West Indian cuisine, so I grew up with a lot of flavor. And, um, you know. Nice. Excellent. Excellent. So, who your mother was your influence growing up, uh, cooking wise? Yeah, definitely. Okay. And what's your favorite type of food to cook? To cook? Yes. I like to go with a lot of fish and seafood dishes. Mm-hmm. I think that's a challenge when you are able to could put a good uh, seafood dish together. Definitely. Definitely. Okay. And it's healthy for you too. Definitely. All right, you look kind of healthy. You kind of fit, right, sir. Right. All right. So, what are you gonna be making for us today? Today I'm gonna be making tilapia, which is not pre-marinated like the last chef. Okay. And it won't taste um, as good either. Mm-hmm. So it's going to be a garlic tilapia over a bed of couscous with a side of sautéed spinach. Um, when I heard the young lady on a video, she sounded like she had a, a mature palate. So she did list, you know, pasta and you know breakfast, but that's you know that's no effort to pasta. Anybody can make that. Uh, okay. But um, you know, so hmm. just trying to put some. She said she liked effort, so this definitely would be a meal of effort. Definitely. It de- definitely is a mature meal, I see that. Couscous isn't something that everybody yeah. just wants. Yeah, hopefully, she likes, mm, yeah, nice. hopefully she likes uh, pork bacon too. <laughs> <laughs> All right, gentlemen, looks like we have some well-balanced meals here. All right, you have 60 minutes to prepare your meal. Gentlemen, 
Let's food fight. All right. All right. So, so we need to find. Zach, I see you getting a lot of knives. What's that for? Yeah, it's your mise en place to get, you know what I'm saying? Okay. okay. All right, all right. I'll take so this. Is this. Hanif is getting ready to get his tilapia going. Right, I just broke down the margarine. Mm -hmm. I'm going to coat it. Okay. Fish might be a little dry. Yeah, yeah. Zach, what does mise en place mean for our mise en viewers place. at home? It means I'm a loose. A French. <laughs> French. <laughs> <laughs> See Hanif is coating his tilapia, getting ready to go into the pan. I hear that sizzle, that means it's ready. Good job, Hanif. Turn this fire down, I don't want to get too, too crazy with it. Pasta chicken alfredo, okay, with broccoli, nice. With the broccoli and the chicken's all cut up now. Just about. I re-seasoned the meat, because okay. she wanted to watch my yeah, stuff. Most definitely. Good Fine. job. She needs I used to cook when people in the kitchen. I hear you, man. People tell you talk too much. Oh. Pardon me? <laughs> people tell you talk too much. Nope, I'm not such. My man, what are you doing? You put your chicken feet. I don't even see you right now. I don't even see you. Do I talk too much about nonsense? What you feeling right now? Anybody tell you that you right. talk too much crap? What season is that you're using, honey? I'm using, I'm using a half teaspoon of garlic powder. Okay. Half teaspoon. He has to measure the teaspoon. Yeah, he doesn't have the touch. We didn't go to culinary school. I didn't go to culinary school. I just know to pinch a little bit of garlic. And see what happens. He's a very accurate guy. All right, gentlemen, you have 45 minutes left. Thank you. What are you going to soak your uh, the baguettes in? Well, I'm going to make a little custard. Um, with some eggs, heavy cream, a little salt, vanilla, and brown sugar and cinnamon. Okay. Excuse me, excuse me. What do you have there, John? Oh, that's chicken. It's chicken. Okay. Okay. It's chicken. You ready to saute that up? As soon as I can find another open eye. Excellent. So right now I made my sauce. This time I'm gonna, I'm gonna coat it in the, in the uh, skillet. So that's your that's your garlic sauce. That's a garlic sauce, which, you know, mixed with like paprika. Uh huh. You know, a little bit of cayenne, a little bit of any, uh, black pepper. And your do we have a um, strainer for? Um, no, what's that for? What do you say? Listen, we're not even on the same the side, pasta. but there's a strainer inside there, right there. You know Thank you. I don't got no no problem helping the competition. Is your water boiling yet, Josh? It's getting there. It's taking okay. a little. It's taking a few minutes, but it's getting there. Now what seasoning pepper. are you? That's very interesting. You putting pepper on your bacon? Yes, sir. Okay. So that's garnished with the. And I'm just gonna throw this on top of it. The sauce that I made. Okay. Okay. You notice my, my when I'm cooking, you just making this place smell awesome right now. I don't know about these guys. So well, the funny thing is, you can't smell anything on the camera, so who cares? Yeah, well. <laughs> That's, that's for the audience, though. That's for the audience. Oh, okay. So the audience. Audience, you're not missing anything. Audience. Right, right, yeah, right, right. That's hate. That's not hate. It's just observation. What are you doing? You, you got a library right now? Y'all see this brown sugar that I'm putting it's on called, this? I'm letting, I'm letting mine marinate. I'm letting mine do it. Slab of bacon? Do you see this? This is a winner right here, guys. Right? You already so, know. So, let it marinate for a little bit. On the Pack your bed. Let that the rest of this. <laughs> I noticed that the oven's already preheated. So yes. Yeah, so this. Ooh. 
technical difficulty. That would have been really funny. It would have been terrible. That would have been absolutely hilarious. Excuse me, sir. These are all the... So the these dishes, you washing them or no? I wash them mine. Or no. What, what you, how long you got on this right here? A little while. It needs to reduce. Come together. That's properly. How long are you going to let that stay there? Excuse me, sir. How long are you going to get rid of this? How long? Until it's ready. Yeah, well, how long exactly is that going to take, you know? Uh, well, it ain't ready yet. That's not <laughs> <laughs> I might, well, might want to use this. I ain't microwaving no dang old broccoli. Yeah, well, that broccoli's not going to be ready. What kind of mess are you trying to pull here? You cook like a grandmother right next to you. No, no, we need it. We need if, I, if you clean that, I, I would use this. I'm waiting for you to finish with that. I'm you not want this, right? I want I'm, this. All right, cool. That's good. Let's get that going. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm just saying we need the we need the after eye space. We're here to support your friend Alicia. Yeah, um, and also hopefully to eat some of the leftovers. Okay. It's nice <laughs> okay. All right. And you know she's going to taste all three. Uh, items once they finish cooking. Yeah. Uh, so what do you what do you think? You know? Do you know what they're cooking? Well, I I, I definitely uh, heard about I heard that there was some French toast brewing back there. Okay. Um, I heard there was some fish. Uh -huh. And uh, I heard there was some bacon. So right. Okay. So it sounds like Alicia's a breakfast person. Um, Alicia is from the south. Okay. So Alicia is a carbs and meat type of person. Gotcha. So anybody who is able to, you know, pepper in those the southern uh -huh. essence into their food. I think they have the advantage. Excellent, excellent. Well, we're glad to have you here. Oh, thank you. So nice to show her some support. That's wonderful. Oh, did you watch that for me? Yeah, I watched it. Try it. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Ah. That bacon smells wonderful. I try, man. Oh, it's not really bacon. Are you hating on carbon? No, I really just don't smell it. I know you didn't. That's just carbon you know? I'm not, I'm, I'm not really a hater by the person. I'm like, so you got to excuse me real quick. You good? Check yeah, yeah, yeah. You sure I cleaned it for you though, right? I cleaned that. Nah, you didn't. You're a that. chef, so you kind you of- put water on it, you know what I'm saying? That's not cleaning. What's that you have going on over there, Zach? Put some butter on the pan. I need more of it. Mm -hmm. Flavor town. Okay. To serve off this um, French toast. Gotcha. Pan for you. There's something boiling. What is that? Is that the couscous? That's the couscous mixture. So it's pretty simple. You just let it boil. Okay. Goes good with fish. And, yeah. and the trip. In the trip. Yeah. Okay, good. Couscous nice and fluffy. Hey, the camera shot. You see this caramelization on top of this French toast over here? That's the cam let the camera see that, Zach. Let me, let me, let me get you Nice. Flavor time. Smell that? Mm -hmm. Smell that? Mm -hmm. You smell that? You smell that? Good enough. Oh, yeah. I really, I can't smell anything. Of course you can. Of course. You smell this over Actually, now I just... This broccoli overcooking though is what I smell. <laughs> That's what I do smell. Now, gentlemen, where your food may taste good, you know the presentation is extremely important. Sure. So uh, as we near the end of your hour, please think about how you're going to plate your entrees. Butterfingers. Shut up. That's what that's your, uh, your that's what your cappers be doing, huh? They be dropping stuff? Uh, that. Uh, I know. I'm I'm dropping them to change plates. You're you dropping them to your girl, yeah. So let. Oh. 15 minutes left, gentlemen. 15 minutes. I need if I see you plating up. Yeah, I'm just about. I'm pretty much done. Okay. Cold food. Cold food. Just gotta make sure it's uh Gentlemen, you have ten minutes left. Ten minutes left. True work. <laughs> <laughs> 
Nine minutes, gentlemen. <laughs> Incriminating. Oh, what's up, man? <laughs> oh! That's really clever. This food's gonna be cold, yo, so, you know, by all means. He could be working on his presentation right, right now. My, he could be checking the flavor to make sure it's there. Everything is done. Presentation, everything. Make sure it's hot once it's presented. Well, it's going to be hot. It's going to be hot. But I don't you know, know, man. You got to go. It's going to be heated up. Eight, eight right. minutes. Where, where are we supposed to put our plates? Left. Can you use technology? You can put it right there. Do you have another plate to cover it? Uh, I can. Please. And you, know, you want to know something? I went to a college that was good. Our, our, our was cafeteria is rated one of the best in the country. So it's not oh, that's not really an insult. You try to come with my grandmother, you try to come with my college. I said, you said you're cooking like a grandmother. I didn't say your grandmother. You said a grandmother. Yeah, but bro. most grandmothers I know cook sound. real good. Yeah, so you now have five minutes left. Five minutes left. I just had one request. If that was the first to be done, can she taste, taste mine first? Absolutely not. Nice caramelization on the uh, French toast and the bacon. We're gonna finish it off with some uh, friction. Yeah. All right, so Zach, what do we have here? So what I presented for you today is pan Purdue, mm -hmm. which is an Italian style French toast. Okay. Uh, accompanied with candied bacon and topped with a strawberry compote. And to round out the dish, you know, fresh glass of OJ. Exactly, exactly. Can't forget the orange juice. Wonderful presentation. Thank you, thank I think you. she's going to enjoy it. I hope so. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Honey, what do we have here? Here we have a lightly crusted garlic lemon tilapia garnished with uh, spinach over a bed of couscous with a side of sauté spinach. Okay. Very nice presentation. Nice colors. I think she'll enjoy it. We'll see. Thanks, sir. All right, Josh. So what do we have here today? It's chicken. Mm -hmm. it's broccoli. <laughs> okay. Alfredo. Okay. Some shells. And some shells. Okay. Sure. All right. Looks yummy. Good amount of sauce. Not too much. It's not drowning. Mm -hmm. Good colors. I don't like soup. You don't like soup? Not, not, not soup when it's Alfredo. Exactly. So, Alicia, here we have plate number one, uh, which is an Italian uh, French toast mm -hmm. with uh, strawberry compote, with brown sugar and black pepper candied bacon with a side of strawberry yogurt mm. all right so the strawberry yogurt is going to be used as your uh, your uh, your syrup if you will okay all right i'm excited all right i'm gonna go for the toast toast with a little bit of strawberry compote Got a second bite, excellent. Mm -hmm. All right, let's go for the bacon. Right. Let's try some bacon. Mm -hmm. Yeah, go ahead, use your fingers. It's, it's, it's bacon, it's bacon. And it's crunchy. Mm -hmm. This is really good. Good, excellent, excellent. I'll be right back with plate number two. All right, so Alicia, here is dish number two. Mm -hmm. It is uh, chicken, Alfredo over pasta shells with uh, some uh, steamed broccoli. Okay. All right. Now everything was made, even the sauce. From scratch. The sauce was not made from scratch. You know, it was enhanced, but it was not made. Very good. Broccoli? Yes. Delicious. Okay. All right, Alicia, now we have our third and final dish. All right, so this is a lemon garlic tilapia garnished with sauteed spinach mm -hmm. on a bed of couscous 
with a side of garlic spinach. <laughs> All right, so. All right, here we go. I'm going for the tilapia. Okay. With a little bit of the couscous. Okay. Oh, there's the lemon seed. Okay. Okay. A little larger than we enjoyed the texture. All right. Well, so Alicia, you have tasted uh, three wonderful meals. Yes. All right. So now it's time to make a decision. Okay. All right. The meal that you like the most, uh, you will meet the young man who present who made that meal, and uh, you will go out on date. Okay. All right. So let's start with this one. How did you? What did you feel about? The uh, tilapia. I I think it was a nice composition. The couscous, the tilapia, spinach. I love spinach. I love root vegetables. Okay. And I love garlic. Okay. <laughs> um, I do think that the textures of the couscous and the fish kind of molded together. Okay. A bit, so it was kind of hard to separate mm -hmm. the two. Got you. As I was eating. Okay. But it was it was delicious. Dish number two. Um, dish number two. This one is it's a very simple dish. Mm -hmm. I like simple. Um, not too much going on. Um, the veggies, the chicken, the pasta. I'm a fan of Italian, which is not uh, uh, Italian food, which is probably not a surprise. Mm -hmm. um, I do think that the sauce um, probably was maybe a little could have used a little bit more flavor. Okay. Okay, so now Alicia, it is time to meet the wonderful gentleman who prepared these meals for you. Gentlemen, come on in. Hello. Alicia, honey. Hello. Josh. Josh. Hi. And Zach. Nice to meet you. Okay, so gentlemen, Alicia has made her decision. So Alicia, meal one, two, or three? Meal one. Okay, meal one was prepared by Zach right here. All right, All right. congratulations, Zach. Thanks, uh, eight as well. All right, thank you. Have a seat right there, sir. Thank you, thank you. Mm. Nice to meet you, Zach. All right, and this concludes our first episode of Food Fight. Join us again next week. We will have three more contestants and a new taste tester.